Proper installation and preloading of structural fasteners is one of the most critical tasks performed by a wind turbine technician. This lesson covers proper installation practice and preloading using a standard torque wrench. It is important to follow the equipment manufacturer's instructions when installing bolts or other fasteners. These instructions may cover application of sealers to the joint, inspection and cleaning of the fastener holes to remove foreign matter, or other tasks. The bolt must have the correct up-down, front-back, or left-right orientation. Often, bolts are installed with heads up, but the specification could call for the nut to face up to make it easier to work with. The beveled side of washer should face the bolt head or nut with the flat side on the work. If the bolt is to be lubricated, be sure to use the correct product. Torque values are calculated using specific lubricants. Substitution is not allowed. It's good practice to use a standard wrench to install and snug bolts, not your torque wrench. A typical torque process begins with finding the correct torque value. If the torque is not given directly in the work instructions, you will find the proper value in a torque table. To use the table shown, you need to know the size, property class, coating, and whether the bolt will be lubricated or not. For example, an M16 bolt with a property class of 8.8 .8 has a lubricated value of 121 foot-pounds. It's possible that the torque value is given in foot-pounds, but you'll be using a wrench calibrated in newton meters, or vice versa. You can either look up the proper setting on a conversion table, or calculate the value. For example, if the lubricated torque value is 121 foot-pounds, multiply by 1.356 to obtain 164 newton meters. Divide by the same factor to go from newton meters to foot pounds. Choose a wrench with a working range that meets the torque specification and check the calibration tag or certificate. If a wrench is dropped, do not use it until a calibration check is done. Many click type torque wrenches have scale markings on the barrel and on the sleeve, similar to a micrometer. This wrench has barrel marks every 5 newton meters. The sleeve is marked every 1 half newton meter. To set a value of 28 newton meters, release the lock ring and turn the sleeve to the 25 mark. The zero on the sleeve will line up with the barrel center line, and the 25 mark will just be visible. Now, rotate the sleeve until the 3 mark lines up with the center line. Follow the tightening pattern given in the work instructions and apply torque to the nut or head as directed. Many joints with multiple fasteners require pre-tightening to a lower value before final torque is applied. For example, you may torque to 75% of final value before applying the specified torque. For best accuracy, pull from the center of the handle. If two hands are needed, place one on top of the other. Pull slowly and steadily. Release pressure as soon as the wrench clicks. When you are finished, set the wrench to the lowest value and store it in the case. 